Okay, guys, I'm back. I just emptied the footage that I already took off my phone so I have more space. And now I'm just going to continue on with some amazing stitching gifts that I have received. Um, I know that not everybody likes to watch gifts. But if you don't want to watch this, I don't know if I've tacked this onto the end of my other video or if this is just a new one. But um, all I'm pretty much going to do in this video is show the uh, gifts that I've received from from um, people, from Stitching Friends, and from... And, um, bags that I've made because and they kind of go hand in hand because the reason why I made so many bags has to do with a gift that I received from somebody. Okay, so in no particular order, these are some wonderful things that I have received from some lovely stitching friends. Bev over at Palette PC is her YouTube channel, Palette PC, and she is also, I think, by the same name on Instagram. She's been a floss tuber forever. Um, and she uh, had asked about a chart that I had, and I let her borrow it, and then I threw in a couple of um, other, the two Bewitching Pixies that I stitched. I noticed that she had stitched, I think, one and didn't have the other, so I just threw those in there, just kind of de-stashed and gave them, you know, because no pattern can, no, no chart can travel alone. Um, she responded with a wonderful thank you gift. She gave me this really adorable card, and in it, oh gosh, guys, she gave me the kit for the Owl Forest Embroidery Whale Kit. And she just finished stitching it. It's amazing. It's amazing. I love this pattern so much. And I know there are quite a few people stitching it, and it's amazing. So, but she gave me the whole kit, guys. So it comes with the fabric and the floss, hand-dyed floss, and it even has this cute needle minder. So, yeah, Owl Forest Embroidery. They're kind of uh, all the rage. Everybody's talking about them. Um, I don't personally know exactly. I think um, uh, McKenna at Stitching in Sequins, I think, carries the charts for Owl Forest Embroidery. I'm not 100% sure on that. And then this cute little needle minder to go with it. So, so cute. I just love it. Oh, I just wanted to... Like, with everything I get, I just want to stitch it. That day, it comes in the mail. I'm like, I want to start this. So, uh, I'm, I'm going to put it aside for now, though, because I have, you can, as you can see from the footage I just filmed, I have a lot of projects going on right now. So, I don't know. I may just wake up one morning and say, I want to start that. So, uh, that was one. So, thank you so much, Bev. I appreciate it so much. I absolutely love it. Love, love, love it. Okay, um, moving on to the next. I'm trying to keep these organized because I like to keep them together. Okay, so the next one, let me put that aside. Oh, yeah, I was contacted by a gal on Instagram that I had apparently won a giveaway that she did, and I never claimed my prize. And uh, she said, do you still want it? And I said, of course I do. So she sent me this cross wing collection. And you know how I, all, how I feel about cross wing collections. And I did not have this one in my stash. And I love it. Love, love, love it. They're European, what is it, gold finches. So, yeah, I don't know if we get these birds here. I'm not sure if we, if we get these in the United States. But I love, love, love it. And uh, her name is Heather. I'll put her Instagram down here if... I get her okay, that it's okay to say her name. So, um, yeah, I love it. I'm excited to stitch it. So cute. I love cross green collections. I, I, that's another one. I just want to buy them all. Everyone, everyone in the stash. Um, okay, these, um, so if you guys watch Jenny and Melissa, they're from Colorado. They're Colorado floss tubers. Uh, Melissa was passing on the stash to the series, the Plum Street Sampler, uh, she had given me, I believe it was Hello Summer that I stitched, and uh, then she, I was, I stitched it, and then I was going to pass it on, or I gave it back to her, I don't even really remember how, how this whole thing has transpired, <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> she had the series, and then she had Hello Fall, she finished it, she passed it on to me, I have not done any more, Hello Spring, I can't remember, I think, so this was the one that, what was it that? She was missing one in the series, and I bought it and gave it to her, and then I think she said she had it already. I don't really remember how it transpired, but all I know is I have two of them now. Do I have... Do 
Do I have Hello Winter too? I must have Hello Winter too. If I don't, maybe she still has that one. Has that? I don't remember. But clearly, I'm way behind on stitching these. I've only stitched one, but I've got the two other two in my stash, and now so apparently there's a goodbye spring, goodbye fall, goodbye winter, and all those two in the series, which are adorable. So these designers, they just keep us uh, to where we just are going to be stitching until we're in our next life. Let's just say that, right? Um, okay, I had also let uh, this person, Becky, from uh, Becky the Obsessed Stitcher here on YouTube, I had uh, let her borrow a pattern, and um, in return, she sent me this pattern by Barbara Anna Designs. Oh my gosh, so cute, so cute. Picking up fruits, it's called. And not only that, but she gave me some hand-dyed fabric to go with it, which is just gorgeous. Now, I know she dyes her own. Did you dye? You might have dyed this, you might have dyed this fabric yourself, um, Becky, because I know that you do that. So it's gorgeous. It is very gorgeous, actually. <laughs> this was the card that she sent me. And it might even say in there if she hand-dyed it. She, she gave me this a little while ago. Um, yes. Picture this plus pewter, it's called. 32 count. Okay. Well, you could have dyed that yourself, Becky, because I've seen your work. It's good. So, anyway, yes. Oh, gosh, I just want to stitch all these things right now. Oh, and looking through this all again makes me just relive it all again and want to stitch it all. Okay, and then, um, oh, most recently, as of yesterday, I received, um, so, Julia, Julicious, hi, Julia, she has a channel, Julicious, on Floss Tube here. She was, were you de-stashing? I can't remember if you were just doing a giveaway or de-stashing. She showed this pattern, and I thought, oh, I love that, I love it. So she sent this to me, and um, yeah, I love it. It's just seeing it again, and it just doesn't look like it's, it looks really easy to stitch. I know, I just wanted to stitch this yesterday when it came. Um, and it's by the work basket. And not only did she send me that, but she sent me this cute peacock card with glitter on it. And she had a funny note inside about how she uh, tried to look for a, flamingo card, but the only ones she could find were anniversary cards. I don't know why that is. That's pretty funny. And the giraffe cards were all for new babies. Go figure. <laughs> Cute. Oh, anyway. That she sent, and not only that, but she sent color and cotton floss, which this, Julie, Julia, this is the first time I've ever had color and cotton floss, so I'm really excited to try that. And actually, I don't know if you planned it, but these blues on here would look really just actually perfect to stitch that peacock, I think. So maybe I'll do that. And no, she didn't stop there. I have been resisting the temptation ever since this series came out to buy them. And she sent me one. So you know what that means, guys. That means I have to finish this series. I have got to go out and buy the whole series now because you can't just have one in a series, right? So thanks, Julia, for starting me down that path. <laughs> I actually love it. I've been, I knew it was inevitable that I was going to get these eventually. So you kind of just jump-started it. And um, yeah, I love it. Very cool. Oh, I want to set you today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so much guys for all of the gifts. And now, um, this one, this one set of gifts is right after I filmed my last, oh, for a minute, I thought I wasn't recording. I had a panic attack there for a minute. I am recording. Um, right after my, I filmed my last floss tube video, I had a viewer, uh, one of my viewers contact me and she said, I have something for you. Can I send it? And I said, yeah, sure. So. She sent me the big box in the mail, and one of them, one of the things that she sent was all this fabric. So uh, she just said that she saw my, uh, when I did my succulents, which, by the way, I do need to give you guys an update on that. Um, they're doing good. They're just kind of, I can tell that my grow lights aren't really effective because they're kind of getting, my, my little baby succulents are kind of getting long and stretched out. So 
eh, kind of sad to see that happen because they're just not getting enough light, even though they're under the grow lights. They're just, I guess it's just not much of a spectrum, but I'm digressing anyway. She saw that I liked succulents, and so she had some plant fabric in her, in her uh, stash. And so she sent me that, and then she sent me, and she would like to remain anonymous. I do know that, so I'm not going to say her name. Um, but uh, thank you so much. You know who you are. So I get this package, and I'm going to go through some of the stuff that I, amazing, amazing charts. I just can't believe. First of all, this series by Heartstring Samplery. She gave me this one and this one because apparently she had bought it twice. So I I love this series. Also, I have been resisting the temptation of buying it. And uh, she sent me those two, and I know that there are only two more in the series, so of course I went right, right afterwards and bought them. So now I have the full series of these, and I can't wait to stitch them. Uh, Betsy, you're stitching these, aren't you? Isn't this the one you're doing? <laughs> I think you are, because is this the one that I laugh every time? It's the Western Tanager that you had made the mistake and put two R's, and so it's Western Tanager. Every time you say that, I just crack up. It's <laughs> so funny. Um, but anyway, so yes, the, the two were gifted, and then I purchased the two to finish the series. And I love that series. I That might be, oh, no, I'm not even going to say when I'm going to start it. Because I just can't start those right now as much as I want to. Um, she sent also, and it's funny, she put all these little notes in them too, that uh, in with her little, little kits. So she sent this. Uh, oops. Oh, that's all just one. Is that, uh, I don't know if these are the same. Oh, hold on a second. Lizzie K. Oh, yeah, part two. Part one, part two, and part three. Oh, here we go. Yes. Sorry. More organization. Part one. Part two. And part three called spooked so yes that's how the final one looks isn't that cute i love halloween next to birds it's absolutely my favorite thing uh, i don't know if there's oh and this looks like there's a bonus chart in there too so yeah guys it's she she gave me the uh pattern and also the floss to go with it so i was just in awe when I received this package, because it doesn't stop there. So yes, that's all. It's been a while, because I think she sent this back whenever I filmed my last video, which was like, because I still haven't remembered, I just don't remember when I last filmed. Okay, then there's this one. She said she stitched, she has a little note in here that she did this pattern for her daughter, and it was tedious and took forever. But it's gorgeous though. Yeah, it does look tedious. I could see. Peace on Earth by Kathy Barrick. I had never even seen this pattern before, before I got it. Isn't that unique? I love it. Just like Kathy Barrick's patterns. They're all really very different and unique. And I love them. I don't think I've actually owned one of hers yet. No, that's not true. I think I might. I don't know because I have so much stuff. I can't keep track of it all. Cricut Collection, another Halloween. Oh my God, I love this. I just have to start this. I love this. I love them all so much. The Great Pumpkin Conspiracy. So cute. And it doesn't look like it would take that long to stitch either. Okay, moving on. This one is the Country Diary Collection 2. And it's this thick book. That has all kinds of patterns with birds and flowers in it. So that just kind of gives you an example of some of them there. And then on the back. Yeah, I haven't even looked through this whole book yet. Well, but, you know, it's birds and flowers. And each one of the charts really doesn't look like much at all. Like it would take long at all to stitch. Just really kind of... Um, just simple, sweet, oh, I love it. 
Oh, yeah, it's really, really cute charts in there. I forgot about that one. Okay, and Prairie Schooler Acorns. I'm so excited about these two. <laughs> Definitely going to have to maybe stitch one of these as fall. But see, I love, I love the one with the, this one down here. With the crow and the pumpkin. I love them all. So cute. I don't have a whole lot of Prairie Schooler uh, patterns, surprisingly enough. This one's called Hummer Heaven. And it's actually a booklet, and this is what the whole piece looks like. Speaking of hummingbirds, guys, I have another hummingbird that's visiting my front garden, which I was, well, once again, surprised. It's been a good year for hummingbirds for me because I didn't expect to see after the one in that I showed during Stitch Mania, my little visitor, I ended up, um, did, I didn't think I was going to see any until late August, but I actually have one visiting my flowers, so I put out my, my feeder again. But, oh, I love that design. So cute. Anything with hummingbirds. Um, then there's these two kits by Tell an Emblem. These two cardinal kits that actually have the little charms in them. Looks like one's a poinsettia, points, a poinsettia and yeah, or maybe they're both poinsettias. Yeah. But cute. So, yep. The little charms. Love those. I love cardinals. Still haven't seen one. Still hope to see one someday. And this one, uh, this just says uh, variegated threads that I'll never use. Um, yeah, she just gave me a big old bag of threads. I'm telling you, it's like the package that never ended, not, not to mention all the fabric that she gave me. And then, uh, last but not least, she gave me uh, this pattern, which you all know if you've been watching my channel, that I already have this pattern, and I've already almost stitched it all, but haven't. Um, so, anyway, yes, I would probably be passing this one on, since I already have this pattern, and uh, those of you that might, may want it, I'm not going to give it away just yet. I'd like to do a giveaway, I just, my life is really busy right now, and I'm horrible about sending things out and so I'm going to do giveaways when I have time to actually pack up the stuff and send it out because it stresses me when I when I have to do that. I, I don't know why. It's fun to do the giveaway but then it's like when I'm left with the okay now I got to pack all that stuff and ship it out and I'm like okay why did I do that now? And she also gave me these really cute stickers. Aren't those cute? They're like little dimensional, uh, dimensional bird stickers. So, yeah, I just, I just have no words for the um, kindness that I have received with all of these stitchy goods. So, um, I was going to make a separate video, but I will go ahead and go on in. Oh, I got all this stuff piled up. With the bags that I made, because um, it was sparked by all of the fabric that the gal who would like to remain anonymous gave me in that package with all that stuff. So, but then I, I kind of just went down a path of where I was making making uh, my own bags anyway, because she kind of got me ramped up about that. So she gave me this fabric here. You'll understand why <laughs> she thought of me when she saw it. So this fabric, I ended up making uh, three bags out of, and they're pretty much, I think, identical. I think I just used, uh... oh no, so, oh, I, yep, I forgot. She also, the coordinating, fabric was this this uh, succulent fabric with the birds and the flowers in it. So I made some that were, so I made, it looks like I made two that have that inside on it and then two that were just plain green. And um, yes, so in case you're new to my channel um, and you want to know how to make these bags, I actually have a I didn't really call it a tutorial because it's not really a tutorial. It's more just watching me make one, but it kind of shows you step by step how I do it. And then I, yeah, I mean, I guess it's in a sense, because so many people have said they were able to make bags from that video, I guess you can call it a tutorial. But anyway, I'll link that below. I'm sure most of you have probably, if you're watching my channel, have already seen it. Um, if you're, if you care to, if you're into making, wanting to make your bags, you've probably seen it. 
I don't know where I was going with that. Anyway, so she gave me all that cactus fabric, and I made those. And then, uh, let's see, this was my own fabric. Own, own. And then she gave me this fabric right here. Sorry, I've got my own stuff mixed in with it. So she gave me this fabric that's like um, bird's eggs. And I went ahead and made a... Yes, my corners don't look all that great. When I hadn't made any bags for a while and then I went to making them, I, I actually remembered that I sort of struggled a little bit with wavy zippers. And so two bags with that same fabric there and then oh you know what I can't uh, can't show you the other fabric because I made four bags out of that and I've given a couple of them away it was bird fabric and I'm using one actually oh, I just got all of a sudden really hot in here because the Sun came out and it was actually really cool in this clubhouse. I was worried that it was going to be hot, but because it's under the shade of the tree, but it's actually getting late in the day now, so it's starting to warm up in here. But, um, yeah, I can't show you that one. Um, maybe I'll insert a picture of my bag or not. I, anyway, it was really pretty bird fabric that I used, and I ended up making uh, quite a few bags out of that. Yeah, did I bring it out? No. I didn't bring it out. So, anyway. That sparked me down a whole road of making a whole bunch of bags. Let me see here. So I showed you in the one that I just did, the flamingo bags that I made, and I ended up making, so this is what that fabric looks like, and I ended up making four of them. Some have the pink and some have the tan in them. So add those. And then... Hmm, some fabric I found at Walmart uh, was this. That, it's still, you can still get that fabric. It's really cute and colorful. And um, I made, okay, in my mind, this was going to be much more organized. I made two of them, which is pretty much two identical ones. The zippers are just a little bit different. Okay, and then uh, I made two with this fabric. Also, one uh, fabric I got from Walmart, I believe, and just made. I used a lot of that same uh, print fabric in in the center of a lot of these, so uh, it's just kind of a neutral that matches a lot. So that, and then this was just some fabric I found actually at the craft box, just some fat quarters that I was able to just make one box out of, uh, one bag out of. Isn't that cool? Pumpkins. This was another fabric I found at the craft box. Just, uh, it was just a one fat quarter. So it was probably, it's probably old fabric. This almost looks kind of like Debbie Mum type fabric. So I made that. I found some of this. I might have found this at Walmart. Just uh, some Thanksgiving fabric. Because I will stitch a Thanksgiving turkey one of these days. Um, uh, uh, another, I made two of these and I gave one to a stitching friend. No, I'm wrong. Did I give one? Was it this one or my sugar skulls? No, I think it might have been the owls. I can't remember. Jenny, I don't remember which one I gave you. It might have been this. I think I made two of them. And yes. Uh, and I found this fabric. I couldn't resist. I think I found this also at Walmart, I believe. It just has a margarine basting feel to it. So I made two of them. 
this is what the insides look like. It just did two different zippers, but the same, same kind of uh, middle fabric. I'm sorry if I'm going through these kind of quick, but not everybody's interested in project bags. And then I found some eagle fabric to put my eagle project in, and because you have enough fabric to make two, I made two. So this was the coordinating fabric that I used. So I love that. It was a little tedious when there's a picture that you kind of have to, you know, try to get, you know, to, to place it just right. It's a little bit more tedious, but that one turned out pretty nice. So I can put my Eagle project in that. Uh, and last but not least, boy, I guess I made a lot of these. So, oh no, I thought those were the same. Never mind. I had this fabric that I found also at the craft box, my thrift store. Um, that's just this old um, kind of vintage, almost looks like newspaper. These are all upside down, right side up. I'll just hold them up one at a time. They're all the same fabric, but I just did the lining a little bit different. Like that one just has black. This one, there's the back, and then the front I actually did pink fabric, so it just looks kind of like it's all the same. And then this one, same kind of backing, and then the inside, I just did the inside looking the same, but then did a uh, coordinating black zipper. So I was just playing around with some different styles. And yes, finally, we're down to the last but not least. I made these purely to give away. I'm not going to do that today, though. I'm sorry. I know I hate to show this and say I'm going to give these away, but I'm not going to do that today because I haven't decided how I'm going to give these away if I'm going to give them to, um, you know, do like an Instagram giveaway or this kind of, you know, floss tube giveaway. But I am not a Harry Potter fan. <laughs> I like Harry Potter. I like the movies and everything, but I, you know, I don't, I'm not, I'm not, I was not born with the Harry Potter gene, I guess you could say. You know, I don't love it as much as other people do, but you know, when the whole school of magical stitches was going and everybody was talking about Harry Potter and I found this fabric at Walmart, I just went ahead and made four bags. So and I think they're all exactly the same. My phone is giving me a warning again that I'm running out of time. So anyway, I just wanted to show the four Harry Potter bags I have that I am not going to keep. I am going to give them away at some point or another. So I'm about, we're probably going to run out of space. So I'm going to say goodbye. Okay, guys, I just got to thinking that let's just make this the giveaway because I just won't upload this video until I'm ready to actually give them away. So leave a comment below. What, I, what I've decided I'll do is I'll give away four bags and um, I'm just going to pick four winners. You don't have to say what bag you want, um, or actually, yeah, do say which bag you would want. If you, if you would like to be entered in the giveaway, just say, I would love to have such and such bag. And what I'll do is pick randomly four winners, uh, that way in case everybody, in case all four winners want a Harry Potter bag, I have four of them. So leave a comment below, tell me which bag you would choose if you were to choose one, and, uh, yeah, I'll pick four winners. And so whenever I upload this video, we'll just make the giveaway go for two weeks, for two weeks from the date of this video. Um, so I just ask that you please be 18 and don't use the word giveaway. And yeah, just leave a comment as to which bag you would like and uh, I'll pick a winner. How's that sound? All right, guys. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Talk to you later. Bye. Hopefully I will see you um, before the end of the year. Let's, let's just say that. <laughs>